Welcome back to Squawk Box, everybody. Watch shares of eBay today. Piper Jaffrey's Gene Munster downgrading the stock to underweight from neutral. He is citing concern about the impact to PayPal from Google Wallet, Apple Pay, Facebook, Samsung, and traditional banks. Munster's price target cut to $49 from $55. Uh, Fordham University's Graduate School of Business is being renamed the Gabelli School of Business. Congratulations after our uh, guest host, legendary value investor, Mario Gabelli, joining us now to tell us more about the unification process and what the value of an MBA is today is Donna Rappacholi. She is the dean of Fordham University's Gabelli School of Business. Good morning. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. I'm delighted you to be here. Have you got new business cards now? I do. I didn't actually receive them yet. We're only three weeks old here. So what, what does this mean? So what we're doing is we're really using New York as a platform for education, and it's a, a wonderful city. We have a global vision where we're bringing Fordham to the world and the world to Fordham with campuses in London, a strong partnership with Peking University in Beijing, and global partners all over the world. So what do you make of the argument when people say that you don't need to get an MBA anymore, that, that they're less popular than they used to be? So I think the number of people that are getting an MBA has declined, but the value has not. I think what the new MBA and what we're doing at Fordham is marrying the important technical skills, but also the soft leadership skills. Employers tell me every day that they need people who can solve problems, people that work in teams, people that are really comfortable with uncertainty and ambiguity. And these are the things that we've built into the curriculum. So but what, do, what do you think is driving the, the, the sort of uh, decline in, in applicants for MBAs? Half empty, half empty, I'm, half empty, half empty. Uh, you, uh, this is a Jesuit school, too. We is. need Jesuits to teach people about business, I And think. we have some Jesuits. I'm long Fordham Gabelli we School of Business, and I'm MBAs, and I think people are going to... If you're going to continue, nothing ever. Joe, we're going to get you on campus to teach. I will. Absolutely. I'll be there. I'll Andrew be there to have a positive outlook for all this stuff. Absolutely. But well, what do you think is happening? <clears throat> So I think part of it is cost mm -hmm. and, you know, the, the rising price. And there's a lot of messaging in the press that there's not a return on value of investment. But in my view, you have to look at the long period and you can't only look at your salary. You have to look at the quality of life. And if you do that kind of discounting, you'll see that it really is worth it. You know, we have Jack Welch who comes on, too, and he has the Jack Welch Institute of Management through mm -hmm. Strayer University, and part of what they're trying to do is get to people so they can get the degree in a shorter amount of time and maybe do it on their own time. It, it is hard when you're looking for students who have already graduated and maybe spent a few years in the workforce to go back and do that. What do they get out of being on campus? So it's a huge network and relationships with faculty. It gives the students a chance to practice what they're going to have to actually do in the workplace. So for us, it's a, it's a huge upside. The other great thing is that because of Fordham's location, we bring a lot of guest speakers to campus. So this year alone, we had Ken Langone, Alex Gorski. And this gives students a chance to listen to thought leaders and then make their own right. decisions. Well, what's the uh, MBA cost these days, by the way? Well, there are two parts. One is your opportunity cost of not working. And the other point Bingo. is your out Bingo. of pocket. So those are the dynamics. So the question is the payback. But it's not only a payback in terms of numbers, but it's a payback in terms of psychology and a uh, you know, whole human being about, and more importantly, Andrew, it's about the free market system in the United States and meritocracy. And you have to have that vision and allow everyone to be their chance for whatever they want to do in terms of success. Mm -hmm. okay. It's hard to sell in mainstream media. It's hard to sell things if they're not, if things aren't really bad and, and having one, one football player retires at 24. Football, it's the beginning of the end for football. There's just, the parents aren't. Yeah. One person doesn't get an MBA, there's nobody's going to get an MBA. They go to terminal pricing immediately on all these things, and it, it, it never happens. Well, it congratulations, Donna, for rebooting. Uh, she's got her own PhD from NYU. Football will probably be fine. Yes, ESPN will probably be fine. TV will probably be fine. Cable. Part of the strategy is launching a PhD program in business, which will really allow us to attract more faculty. Right. We've been growing our faculty. The other thing that's really cool about Fordham is we have many PhD trained faculty, but we also have practicing practitioners who teach. And all of you are all welcome to come and right. be adjuncts at Fordham. Well, thank you. Thank you, Donna. Unpaid. Thank you. Unpaid, right. <laughs> Congratulations.